Okay, so here's my Voilamart 1500 watt e-bike build. Got the hub drive motor. Um, as for battery goes, I have a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery. It it does goes about 30 miles on a charge from this battery. And I got my battery from a seller on AliExpress called Unit Pack Power. I'll put a link down in the video description. Um, I have an XT90 connector on the outside of the bag, just so that in case I don't know if bull else fails, I have it. I have an out. Um, inside the, I was able to fit a whole controller inside of the battery bag. Here's our mess of wires. Um, so right here, I don't know if you can tell, but that's that's the brake sensor. So if you pull this lever right up here, then it'll turn them. It'll tell the motor to shut off. So you don't, so you're not braking and um, going at the same time. On the front brake, I don't have one of those automatic shutoffs. It, it, the kit includes one, but I didn't want it just so I could do some really cool burnouts. Um, and then also in here, I don't know this little blue wire that I have up here. So that's the if you connect the two blue wires. It limits the motor to 750 watts. So I wanted to switch on my handlebars. So that's what this red switch is for. In the off position, it is at 1500 watts, the full full load. Um, and then on position, it's on the more eco mode at 750 watts. Um, there's about a 10 mile per hour difference. You can go about 25 on flat ground with the 750 watts and about 35 miles per hour with the 1500 watts. You get really cruising once you hit that 1500 watts. As far as kit installation goes, um, in order to install this kit, you really should have the bike tipped upside down on its on the seat and the handlebars, and then tighten both the axle bolts on each side um, at the same time. The first couple times, I would just torque it out of the out of the frame. It's got to be careful. Don't over tighten them, but snug them up. With that. That's also where the torque arms come to effect. Um, I would tighten the torque arms down. So put the torque arms on there before and then put on these bolts and make sure to put on the bolts at the same time um, using two different wrenches on each side. And one thing you have to make sure of is that you have these torque arms. The first day that I got this, I threw it on, everything was ready. I didn't have those torque arms and that wheel just got thrown for a loogie. It spun all around and it just messed up the whole entire motor. So that was kind of a shame. They're not included, so you gotta buy them. They're a little bit spendy. I don't know, they're about 20 bucks each or a kit. I'm not sure, I bought them on Amazon. I know again, I'll put a link in the description. Another big, um, not problem, but just thing you gotta keep aware of is with e-bikes and any of them, they go through brake pads like nothing. So this is my second set of brake pads in here, and I've got to constantly adjust them just because they, they're they getting worn out so easily going from, I don't know, 35 miles per hour down to zero, just like that. So yeah, you got to replace them a lot. Um, disc brakes are definitely not a must, but they're, you you really want them. If you have just free brakes, those, are, those will wear out super fast, and they're not as safe as the disc brakes. Um, thing you gotta keep track of and just um i would constantly check it almost every ride and just make sure this bolt these bolts aren't coming out on either side because that would be you'd get into sun. i mean the whole wheel would fall off another thing to keep track of on this bike another thing you should do is on the in on the inside wall of this on this wheel they don't put um rim tape around it so these spokes, if you hit a bump, the spokes will go right into the tire tube, and then it pops the tire. And I had that happen twice to me. And also, with the weight of the e-bike on the back, you can easily get snake bites. If you don't know what a snake bite is, it's where the tube kind of goes outside the wheel, and then it, the rim pinches it against the ground. So it's just two holes on either side of the tube. Um, that's how you know what a snake bite is. Um, as for rim rim tape, I didn't actually buy a rim tape. I just wrapped electrical tape around it, wrapped it around twice, and it's worked so far. I've no, had no punctures at all. The second problem I encountered was the spacing of the disc brake. That was a biggie, and it took me a while to figure it out. It was really easy. 
um, all I did was I put I don't know I put a washer right in between the frame and um, the threaded bolt that comes out of there that comes out of the motor and that just happened to give me the right spacing but other than that there wasn't many problems also up the front I've got a headlight that once you turn on the whole kit then you can just I just have the switch on the handlebars and it'll turn on the headlight um, pretty simple it, it runs off the battery the 52 volt battery but this light is rated for 0 to 80 volts and it it works good enough makes car to see ya um, I haven't tried riding in the night with it but I'm, I'm sure it would work just perfectly for that Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them.